Hello, I'm Chris Passion from CMS Update, and today we're going to take a look at how to batch watermark some images using the FastStone Photo Resizer program. So we're going to take a look at that. Here's the program we're going to use is FastStone Photo Resizer. And what we're actually going to do today is we need to take an image, something like this one. Actually, this is one of the images. And what we need to do is we need to take this image, our download podcast graphic banner it needs to be put on the image and it needs to be right here in the bottom left corner. We need to have that overlay the images. So we're going to take a look at that. Going to get into Fast Tone. We've already created the image. So what we're going to do is take all the images here that we want to watermark. Then we add them. We've already selected the ping format that we're going to output, and we've created a directory just for these called watermark, and they're all going to go in there. Now we go into the advanced options setting, and we're going to select the watermark tab, and we're going to add a watermark. We've already selected our download uh, graphic here that we needed to. We just selected it there. The other thing we did is we set the opacity at 86, just because that's what looks about the best. And also we set a drop shadow on this, so it looks kind of nice there. Now we've also set the offset. Now I said we need to have this 100 from the left and 10 up from the bottom. So on our XY offset we set 100 to bring it in 100 from the left edge and 10 up from the bottom. Now if we change this to top right it would set it from there working off the top in the center but we want it on the bottom left corner so there we go set that 100 and minus 10 and there we are we're all set now you can click this save options to file and you can save these settings or you can and then you can come back and load them the next time you need to reuse them so you can have multiple different settings for different batch process you use we're all set so we're going to click OK now in this uh, what we're going to apply to the files over here we've said use the advanced option so we're going to do that we do want to rename them. I've put in here that we want to add to the existing file name an underscore in the word watermarked. We're going to keep the original file date time attributes. And if there's any conflicts, if there's something already in that folder that uh, matches what we're putting there, it's going to ask before it overrides it. Um, we've also set that the extension case is always going to be set at lowercase. Uh, we're going to Linux server. So we're going to click the Convert button. As that happens, you'll see all the different files being processed. And you'll see, because we did have one file in there that we already did, um, it tells us that, oh, is, do we want to overwrite it? We'll say yes in this case. So we're going to run over that. And now the files are done. We're going to take a look in that folder. Now we go to a folder. Here's all of our images as they started. Now we go into that watermark file. And you'll see there's our image that we started with. And there's our overlay automatically put on there. So that's all there is. We've now put that image already on there and we're all set. That's all there is. Check out the Fast Stone Image Resizing Program. And you can easily do all kinds of batch processing on your images.